will now show you a special case. The less light available, the easier it is to see the reaction. But the darker the zone, the more difficult it is to take the picture. Look here at this example. We do not have any source of natural light. If we switch off the light, we are in pitch darkness. So here the luminescence will be very visible, but it is impossible to take a good photograph. So we will help ourselves by using a simple small torch that lets us add light. I will just light this torch and direct the beam at myself. No light appears in the zone when I hold the flashlight against myself. But the more I take it away from my body, the more incidental light there is in the zone. This means I will have adequate residual light for the photo to be taken correctly. This is how we will work now. I'll begin by turning on the flashlight because it is easier to see your environment. Have you set up? Yes, I'm ready. I will now spray while playing with a beam of light. As you can see, the reaction remains visible and I alter the position of the flashlight to bring a little residual light onto the zone, although without really lighting it directly. I'm only moving the torch away from my body.